Some Important Conclusions About Markowitz Markowitz Portfolio Theory is a two-parameter model based on risk and reward. Modern portfolio theory creates an entire curve of efficient portfolios with no single portfolio being the best, but rather a range of optimal choices dominant of all other curves of similar risk versus return. The Markowitz model does not allow for the use of other people's money, thus there is no option of leverage. Different investors will evaluate inputs of Markowitz differently, resulting in and varying efficient frontier. Markowitz is vast and cumbersome as a portfolio of 100 stocks will result in a variance-covariance matrix with 10,000 terms in it. Key takeaways from Harry Markowitz's work on modern portfolio theory include portfolio diversification, modern portfolio theory, emphasizes the importance of diversifying a portfolio across different asset classes and securities. This can help reduce risk and maximize returns. Risk Tolerance Markowitz provides a way to mathematically match an investor's risk tolerance and reward expectations to create an ideal portfolio. Portfolio Performance Modern portfolio theory demonstrates that the performance of an individual stock is less important than the performance of the entire portfolio. Efficient Frontier The Efficient Frontier is a plot of the efficient solution to a portfolio which shows a range of risk and reward values. Balanced Asset Allocation A balanced asset allocation approach can help investors build robust portfolios. Buy and hold strategy. Many investors prefer to buy securities and hold on to them over the long term, known as the buy and hold strategy. Correlation. Modern portfolio theory stresses that investors should look for a consistently uncorrelated or near zero pool of assets to limit risk. And exchange traded funds or ETFs. The growth of ETFs made Markowitz more relevant by giving investors easier access to a broader range of asset classes. Markowitz was one of three recipients of the 1990 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Science for his work on modern portfolio theory. I just thought you might want to know.